Hudson leads off. DeGrom is ready to work. And his first pitch of the night is swung and foul back at 100 miles an hour, and we're underway. That was a nice. Out of LSU, making his eighth start of the season. And another fastball at 100 down the middle, and again fouled off, and it's 0 2. Who has the hip? Missed a game. He's back in center field. Oh boy, fastballs in a row, and Stevenson is caught looking at 101. Who has the hip? Missed a game. He's back in center field. Oh boy, fastballs in a row. And no effort, and out of his hand, electric. Staff cast powered by Google Cloud, and Josh Harrison takes a strike. PS over 1,000. And he fouls one back, and it's 0 and 2. And he's one of those hitters that is all baseball. That's a serious alteration. Well, he had injury problems for a couple of years. Six straight strikes for DeGrom. This one's popped up foul, and that'll come back out of play. And DeGrom just throwing an easy 100 early in this game. We've seen day tonight after deciding to push it back. And he throws his first slider down. First pitch out of the strike zone, and it's one and two. 0.57. And he strikes oh. out Harrison, and DeGrom's got back to back strikeouts to start. Point five seven. And he strikes oh. out Harrison. 2.572. It's that tight. And a nasty breaking ball to start off Trey Turner, nothing and one. It got lost somewhat because Soto had such a great year last year, but Trey Turner, magnificent in 2020, hit 335 with 12 home runs. And Gronk throws him a couple of sliders and gets ahead 0 2. It's always interesting to watch Jacob start a game and see which pitch he feels the slider right now. Turner's able to make contact with the fastball and foul it off. So that's almost unfathomable. Turner breaks his bat as he grounds one to third. J.D. Davis on the move. Perfect throw to get the speedy Turner. And the better in the first inning. Josh Bell leads off the second. The former Pirates swings and misses at a mere 98. And he was uh, esoteric stats. DeGrom with his 500 mile an hour fastballs in the first inning. Last year and this in first innings is the stunning piece for DeGrom. He was a dominant pitcher even before he was throwing 99 and up for a pitcher who's yep. going to turn 33 this summer. And he blows away Bell with a 100 mile an hour fastball. That's his third strikeout. For a pitcher who's yep. going to turn 33 this summer. And he blows away Bell, the former Cub. Schwarber had such a miserable year last year in the shortened seal of their batting order, but Schwarber off to a slow start. It's really struggling against right handers, Kerry. And you think that that wouldn't be the case. Because they had to put on the COVID injured list and play without. That's drilled out to left field. Dom Smith had to play that way. Circles in and makes the catch. No good positioning there, playing toward the last two games for the Marlins the year before. And Castro's done pretty well against DeGrom. 11 for 36. That's a 306 average. He doesn't walk. And he slams this one foul down the right side. He, one and one. He's only got one walk this season. He needs a guy that swings the truncated season last year might hurt him. He takes one the other way and he's got the Nats first hit of the night. He is just a good hitter. So 1650. And Jake misses up and away for ball one. The Grom lifetime again. It was only the third time in DeGrom's career that he trailed low number for the way he's pitched. And the slider just missed outside. Home plate umpires Marvin Hudson tonight. First with two out. And Gomes fouls back a slider. And it's two and two. And Gomes now 30. 2 2 coming. And he just got a piece of that one. Change up. Of velocity. 2 2. And he struck oh. him out. Four strikeouts in the first two innings for DeGrom. Of velocity. 2 2. And he struck oh. him out. Doff hitting eighth in the order. He's been a much more patient hitter this year. 
Guy in the past was just a free swinger. He drew nine walks. Open the season uh, off of Syndergaard, Gary, you remember? He, he pitched, Syndergaard started in Washington. He had Got a good memory. Well, it's hard to forget. And Robles goes around, and he's a quick strikeout victor for DeGrom. And now Got a good memory. Well, it's hard to forget. And Robles goes. They're going to keep doing this, check swinging and swinging and missing. Why throw a strike with it? Now Eric Fetty takes a strike. Well, DeGrom's executive performances of 14 strikeouts or more. David Ooh. Martinez did it in 1999. Garrett Cole did it in 2019 at 571. That is amazing. And just off the plate to Fetty at 100 miles an hour. Just about every other mark before DeGrom. Well, Fetty takes the slider off the plate and it's two and two. Hang out of that jam. And oh, that was an ugly hat. Oh boy, six strikeouts first time through the batting order for getting out of that jam. And oh, that was an ugly hat. Oh boy, six strikeouts first time through the batting order for cake. So how many hitters have had two home runs against Degrom? There are now five of them. Mark Teixeira and John Carlos Stanton. Had two home runs in a game. Time up tonight. And goes after the changeup and misses. One and two. Pull that start mid September. You okay there? You need a cough drop or something? I, something went down the wrong pipe. A little water. Just. 2 2 coming. Mm. Line center field, and that'll be oh. booted by Nimmo, who tried to make the diving catch, and Stevenson will wind up at second base. A little indecision there by Nimmo as to whether to let that ball drop or come and get it. Second hit against DeGrom. First time the Nats have had a runner in scoring position, and Josh Harrison grounds one right at Lindor, and Francisco takes care of that to retire the side. Six strikeouts of the. DeGrom's given up two hits over the first three innings. And dents the outside corner with a fastball, nothing and one. Turn base with regularity at a 982 OPS last year. And that one's on the corner. Mm -hmm. Two in a row where yep. DeGrom might have gotten a little. Tries to get a little bit more outside, but. Well, he's Our... wrong, that makes it doubly tough. And the slider strikes him out. Masterfully done by DeGrom for his seventh strike. DeGrom, that makes it doubly tough. And the slider strikes him out. Masterfully done by DeGrom for his seventh strike. His first time up. Mm. And that slider in on him, nothing and one. 6 OPS, but really fell off last year in the shortened season. He lifts this one out to center, and Nimmo barely has to move for it. And there are two out. But DeGrom and how well he's going to age. And Al made the point that at some point in his career, when he's not throwing 99 anymore, that Jake will start throwing his curveball more. Their skills diminish. Schwarber fouls back a fastball, and it's 0 2. <laughs> Guys, that fly out to left his first time, and Dom again is playing him toward the line. And he tries to hold the swing. He stopped it in time. I agree. David Rackley, the third base umpire, with the call. Good pitch. 0 and 2. 1 2 coming. And he buries one at his feet. 2 and 2. Before landing in D.C. And again, he's able to stop the swing on a slider low and in. That's 3 and 2. That is a tough pitch to lay off. And Swarber's done it three times so far in his first. Now the strike zone. So he's had a pretty good eye. And he goes oh. down on the changeup. And that's how DeGrom gets his eighth strikeout. Now the strike zone. So he's had a pretty good eye. And he oh. goes down on the changeup. I think I'd have to make a U-turn and grab some pine <laughs> after that one. <laughs> Sterling Castro has one of the two hits against DeGrom, and he can't hold the swing on the slide. Mm. Another good slider to get ahead of one too. So five away from that. And he strikes oh out Castro on three breaking balls. Nine strikeouts. Five away from that. 
And he strikes oh, out boy. Castro on three breaking balls. Nine strikeouts. And Shane Bieber, Ryan in 78. Shane Bieber this year. 78, Ryan would have been. Speaking of strikeout artists, moved up to 21st all time. Into the shift off the bat of Gomes, and there's Lindor to sweep up. And there are two out. Fashion. There's Robles who struck out his first time, and he takes a fastball for a strike on the corner. Fetty getting ground balls, and DeGrom just mowing people down. 16 batters faced. Robles lifts one out to right center, and Conforto eases over. And retires the side. Five scoreless innings for DeGrom. We're half. Infielder will pinch hit for Eric Fetty leading off. Mercer, the longtime pirate, short time. Mm, up and in. So Fetty. See how DeGrom fares after an inning where he ran the bases. DeGrom driving in the first run, what Ronnie likes to call the Little League game. And slider fouled off the right side out of play, and it's two and two. And Mercer goes down on strikes. Another double digit strikeout performance for DeGrom, the 49th. And Mercer goes down on him in the third and is now four for nine against Jake with two home runs. But he can't get a, much of that slider. And a tapper foul, which definitely outflanks a, a bunny with a bow tie. <laughs> Ronnie opined last night that pitching at altitude can take a little extra out of you. And it has turned out so far tonight that Jake was exactly right. One two coming to Stevenson. And that's too high at 100 miles an hour. He came out throwing 100 tonight and still throwing 100 in the sixth inning. Josh Harrison on deck. And Stevenson oh, down swinging at 100 mile an hour gas. 11. And Stevenson oh, down swinging. Slider has Harrison flailing. That was a great. It's coming in. Same pitch. I mean, Harrison was the hottest hitter for the Nats coming in. To... 0 2 coming. Struck him out. The masterful Jacob DeGrom. 0 2 coming. Struck him out. Editor and, and, and wonderful. Um, um, personality and, and right, the acceptance that was needed not only through the game but through society and open the door for more folks and you know it was afraid you have he had to turn the other cheek that's right Rob one two to Turner and he missed with a slider two two Row, one shy of Tom Seaver's record set 51 years ago yesterday. Mm. He has moved past Seaver tonight for the best light. 2 2. And Turner able to stay alive, fouling off a 100 mile an hour fastball. Jake struck out the side in the sixth. Seventh pitch of the at bat, the longest of the night against Jake. And Turner keeps it alive. And Jake uh, gets him for the second time. That's 13 for DeGrom, 48. And, and Jake uh, gets him for the second. Their first four starts of the year. Now a chance to break it against Josh Bell, who is late on that 100 mile an hour fastball. About a week late. Bell has struck out and flied out tonight. And tonight, 13 strikeouts. Quickly 0 and 2 on Bell. You don't even waste any time. One two. Lifted foul down the left side. That'll go out of play. 87 pitches for the for the. 
Again, the one two. He struck him out. 14 for a third straight start. Again, the one two. He struck him out in a row. And now it's Schwarber. Oh, he has no chance against that slider. Nothing in one. Oh, boy. 100 miles an hour in on him, and it's 0 2. Stopped it in time. One and two to Schwarm. Up in the dirt. One, two. Oh. In there for a call strike three. A career. Up in the dirt. One, two. Oh. Offense not needed. Starling Castro has one of the two hits for the Nats tonight. And he takes a slider for a strike. Taking out nine of the 13. Castro hits one back to DeGrom, uses those long limbs to get it, and that's the first, first four starts. Now Jan Gomes responsible for one of those strikeouts. Now the fastball away at ball one. Interest, who knows? Keep an eye on the next fastball. Gomes gets under one to left. Nimmo coming toward the line, has room. Second out. So to his 19 strikeouts. And Robles takes outside ball one. A year 99. Three game losing streak. Your stopper comes out here. <laughs> nice fastball up and in right there. There's an aerial view right there. Like from our, our SNY drone. That catches the corner. That's one two to Robles. One two to Robles. Ground ball. Charged by Lindor. Side retired. Jake goes without a strike out in the eighth. Jitter to lead off for the Nats in the top of the ninth. And Hernandez grounds one foul. Nothing in one. Hernandez there. He's working on a two hitter tonight. Ball on a strike to Hernandez. Andrews. Hernandez rolls one down to first to foul ball, and it's one and two. Ground ball toward the left side. Lindor shuffles over the flat foot and throw right on target for the first down. Stevenson, who doubled off the heel of Nimmo's glove in the third inning. Since then, Jake has retired seven. Another chance for Lindor. And he makes sure of that one. 18 in a row for DeGrom and the Nats. Who end the seventh, the 15th of the night for DeGrom. And Harrison takes a fastball for a strike, still chucking him at 99 miles an hour in the ninth inning. And Harrison wins with a slider and it's 0 2. 0 2 to Harrison. Tapped on the ground, Alonzo to his left, flipped to DeGrom, and the ball game is over. Jacob DeGrom.